up getting our first blizzard last night that we've had in a while. And it wasn't really classified as a blizzard because of how much accumulation we had because we only got about a foot of snow over 12 hours. It was more the wind. The wind was insane and it was whipping the snow up so bad. I should have taken a video of it when we had it, but the wind was whipping the snow up so bad that we couldn't even see the barn from the house or vice versa. And for the first time pretty much ever, the cows actually opted to stay undercover the entire day, which is not like them. But the pristine snow looks so beautiful. You can see some of the drifts, like this is my porch right now. It's where the snow got all blown up in to the porch from the wind. I'm gonna pause this for a second and I'll come back on and show you Warren snow blowing. So we have always plowed either with a truck or a tractor after our snowstorms. But this year, my father-in-law bought a snowblower to go behind his tractor. So, which has gotten my husband thinking that that might work better for some of our big snowfalls. So we are gonna borrow it today and give it a try and see how he likes it. So as you can see, he's already done part of it, but now he's trying to clean up that right hand side of the fence. Both the boys are riding along in the tractor. Gives me a little bit of a break to get some housework done without kids sitting on me. Hey! There is a little bit of a ditch not too far off the driveway, between the driveway and the fence, so he has to be careful that he doesn't accidentally sink the tractor down into that. This is also about the warmest weather that we've had any time recently. We've spent two weeks pretty much straight where it's been anywhere from negative 21 to maybe positive 12. So today I believe it's in the high teens or low 20s, so it feels like practically a heat wave to us. So the little snafu there was because Roger, our three-year-old, somehow shut the PTO shaft off in the middle of snow blowing and plugged the snow blower. So now that that's all cleaned out, they're back in business. is that we'd always end up with these icy, huge snow banks pushed up against our fences, and then it would end up damaging some of the fiberglass or plastic fencing poles. We had to pull wire, and it was just a hot mess. So with the snow blower, it actually throws the snow over the fence into the field, and you get these nice, clean edges. So if I know my husband at all, I'm pretty sure he's going to be trying to talk me into putting a snowblower into the budget sometime in the next year. But we'll see. 